Listen up, y'all. I got a story to tell. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl B Denny. And if you're new here, welcome. Feel free to join us in my little corner of the internet by subscribing down below and hitting that notification bell so that you're notified whenever I upload. In today's video, I'll be telling you guys yet another story time. Um, it's about a time when I found out that the friend I had for umpteen number of years didn't even like me. <laughs> so if you guys are interested in hearing that story, then keep on watching. So I met this friend in what we call at home fourth form. That would be 11th grade in the American school system. So we met in fourth form. Um, what should I name her? It's a girl. We finna name her Kermit. <laughs> Oh, why do I come up with these names? Anyway, so I met Kermit when we were in fourth form in high school, um, 11th grade. And we hit it off. We basically hit it off because we had the same likes, the same dislikes. We got along pretty well. Now, her Kermit, what did I say? Kermit or Hermit? Kermit. So Kermit wasn't, let's see the most popular person. I wasn't either. That's why we got along too. But I knew I had friends like my cousins and stuff. They were popular. But Kermit wasn't the most popular person and she used to get teased a lot because of how she looked for some reason. And I always used to stick up for her. I would I would literally be ready to fight for this girl. Um, even people that I know, they would talk about her and I'd be like, okay, don't talk about her in my presence or just stop talking about her or talk about her again and I can pump you, right? That was my attitude. I was that kind of friend. I was ready to go to war for comment, right? So it was a fine friendship, you know, a little high school friendship. Then she became my best friend and all that stuff. So in high school, there was this guy, we used to, let's call him, what should we call the guy? I'm trying not to use his name or anything close to his name because my last story time was really close to their name and everyone that knows me figured it out. Which, and I didn't care, but let's see. We'll call him Rabbit. <laughs> so there was this guy, Rabbit. She would, um, he was my best friend as well in high school. And she would always be pushing me to like get in a relationship with Rabbit because we were so cute together. So Kermit liked me, well, wanted me to be with Rabbit, right? Throughout the whole high school. Well, the last two years that I knew her, 11th grade and 12th grade. She wanted me to be with Rabbit. So I was like, finally, in like when we were at community college, I think after we graduated or like the last, no. When did me and Rabbit get together? Okay, so my last semester at community college, because throughout of community college, Rabbit had a girlfriend. So my last semester at community college, Rabbit and I got together, right? Kermit was all for Rabbit and I being together. And then Kermit ended up getting married. <sighs> okay, so Kermit told me that she was getting married and she wanted me to be her maid of honor. I was like, oh my gosh, I was never anybody's maid of honor. We were best friends, we were like, joined at the hip. So I was like, sure, I'll be a maid of honor. Da, 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 da. Excited. Come to find out, Kermit wants her wedding to be on my birthday. So Kermit planned her wedding for July 7th, which is my birthday. Everyone will know who Kermit is now since I said the date of her wedding. Um, she wanted her wedding to be on my birthday. I found it strange. So I was like, but I was like, hmm, whatever, you know, it's just my birthday, da 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 da. Um, back then I didn't take birthdays as seriously as I do, do now. If you see me looking down, I'm looking at my iPad because I have um, my, basically I use it as my monitor. But yeah, I didn't take birthdays as seriously as I did then, as I do now. So I was like, okay, it's just a day, da 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 da. She can have her wedding the same day as my birthday. So fast forward to the wedding. Of course, it's her wedding, so today's all about her. Everyone was focused on her. 
even though it was my birthday, everything was about her. <laughs> And then um, Rabbit, he was my boyfriend at the, at the time, he felt bad about everything, about me basically not celebrating my birthday because both of us were like big birthday people. Um, so he, what he did was after the wedding, he organized for me, him, and a group of friends because we're, we were all friends. Everyone who were attending the wedding was friends with us. Um, so he organized for us to go to Pusser's, a Pusser's nearby the wedding. So. For my non VI followers, Pusser, sorry, subscribers, Pusser's is a restaurant. So he organized for us all to go to Pusser's to have dinner, drinks, and some shots and chill out and stuff. Here, her cousin that was in the wedding even joined us because, as I said, we were all really cool people and we had like fun at the wedding. So he was like, hey, we're taking this party elsewhere. Let's go. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, we started celebrating my birthday at Pusser's landing after the wedding so now that goes that's a little backstory on the wedding um the wedding day stuff being on my birthday and stuff so now fast forward a few years well a couple months rabbit and i were going steady we were basically like living together while i was off to universe we were both in the miami area going to school we were basically living together i mean I had a dorm, but I rarely stayed there. So once Rabbit and I got serious, she was married and all that stuff. Um, Kermit was married. I noticed things between us got a little weird, especially the part where she would be telling me a lot of things about Rabbit that I come to now know that weren't true. So she would be telling me like a lot, a lot of negative things like, Oh, he's still talking to the girl that he was with when we were in community college. Um, this other friend of hers be telling her what the girl says. The girl is the girl is saying that she still has him under his arm. She can have him anytime she wants him. Yada 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 yada. So this was all pretty concerning for me because the girl also went to the university that I did. It was really weird because. She went to a university before, a different university for like her first year. And then she randomly switched to go to the exact same university as I did. She lived, she literally stayed downstairs from where I was staying. My dorm room, she lived on the floor below me, which was really weird. So I could run into her while we were, while I was going to class or coming back from class. Or if he was coming to pick me up, he could run into her and stuff like that, right? So it was kind of weird that she changed schools and then not only changed schools, but she was staying in the same building I was staying in. So she, Kermit, let me to know that that could be because he has been telling her what, like, where I stay and stuff like that. But I wasn't paying that any mind at the moment. I was head over heels in love with Rabbit, right? We were like this. This was me and Rabbit. Where he go, I go. Where I go, he go. There was not one without the other. We were like joined at the hip, right? So fast forwarding a bit, the story started from Kermit started to get deeper and deeper how Rabbit was cheating on me with this girl. And um, this is my best friend. So I'm thinking my best friend has my best interest at heart, right? Right. But rabbit was cheating on me and stuff like that so the summer summer was approaching and i had to come home well go home go back to the virgin islands to work for the summer because i need money to spend when i go away to school so i wanted to go home to work um when i rabbit didn't want me to go home to work he wanted me to stay in america and he was like Oh, he works, so he'll take care of the both of us, da, 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 da. But being me and being the independent person that I am, I was like, no, I don't want you to just take care of me. I want to have my own. I want to have my own money. So I'm going to go and come back, and then we can resume. Or you can even come down. But he couldn't come because he was still in school. He was taking summer classes so that he could graduate. That December, I think. And I still had another semester to go. And I... 
think his, no, his graduation was at the end of summer. So if he had stayed, if he stayed for the summer classes, he would have graduated by the end of summer. But me, I was returning and I was graduating at the end of December. So he wanted me to stay. I couldn't because finances weren't looking too good. So I had to go back and I was granted a summer internship with the Virgin Islands government. So I went back home and I did, I was doing the scholarship, the internship. And then Kermit would be telling me how the girl's friend, the ex of his friend, would be telling her stuff like, oh, she went to visit him today and da 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 So with all that chatter being put in my ears and it's like, he's yonder and I'm here, I broke up with him. I broke up with Rabbit, even though I didn't really want to, but it was like, I feel like I'm being played by him and it's like, I felt like I had no other choice but to break up with him. So I broke up with Rabbit and then, you know when you break up with people, you don't really talk to them. So then I went back to school and then he hit, our plan was originally that he would stay with me my last semester, but then since we broke up, he packed all his shit and he moved back home and I went back up. So yeah, that was that part. And then fast forward a few years, um, she now has kids and stuff. I'm the godmother of her kids, so like fast forward a few years, she got kids. Um, I would always look out for her. She visited me a few times when, I, well, one time when I was living in Maryland. I would send them money for the kids, send them money, send her money when she lets me know like she's short. Um, send her things that she would need, like randomly send her packages, send the kids, kids their gifts, because I'm their godmother. Like, I'm going to send the kids gifts. I'm going to send them birthday gifts, Christmas gifts. Um, I would make sure they are not needing. I would make sure that she's not needing for anything, you know? I was, I'm was i that kind of friend. Like, if you need something, even if I it's my last, I will give it to you. And many a days, I would send her basically my last that I had. We were planning our class reunion for 2020, our 10 year high school class reunion. And one of the coordinators, let's call her, I don't know, what should we call her? Flower, okay. <laughs> so flower as in the plant, the flower. Um, so flower was basically coordinating and dealing with um, the reunion and everybody getting in this group chat and sending funds and stuff like that So flower went and told Kermit's husband that we were planning this reunion and um, I would be the one to add Kermit into the group chat because She and Kermit aren't friends and that's another story for another day. It's, a same, it's pretty much the same as me um, flower told me her story and it's someone Kermit didn't like her all these years. They were friends and yeah, anyway. So that's Flower's story to tell, not mine. So Flower then proceeded to be told by the husband that, oh, that's not gonna work because they're not friends. Okay, so <laughs> that's what Flower said she was told. And Flower said her, her reaction was like, oh yeah, when did that happen? and they had their conversation. So I went and I visited home August 2019. That's when I visited home for a festival. Prior to that, we went to Las Vegas for my 25th birthday. Kermit was supposed to come, but then she canceled last minute. Narisha was there and Natalia was there, right? Fine, nothing wrong. When we came back from the thing, I was like, oh, these girls might ride or die. They basically traveled to the other side of the US with me. I would do anything for these girls, my girls for life, my bestest friends in the world. You know, we on this Vegas hype, so I just hyping my friends up, right? Apparently that was a problem. So we fast forwarding to um, me going home for a festival in August 2019 and um, Flower she worked at the port in St. Thomas so I was at the port I checked in because I was going on the ferry that she works for I checked in and she was like oh I have something to tell you when hair settled down when the line calm, calm down I come in to talk to you so I was like oh jeez 
okay. <laughs> um, so then we went, well, I went to sit down and then a few minutes later she came and she joined me and she was like, you and Carmen no longer friends? And I'm like, huh? <laughs> she was like, you and Carmen ain't friends anymore? And I was like, yeah, we're friends. She was like, that's not what I was told. <laughs> and then she proceeded to tell me what the husband told her. Apparently, um, Kermit felt that I was throwing shots at her because I was hyping up my other friends for coming on the trip. And because I said, these are my real ride or dies, apparently she took that to feel like I would talk subliminally throwing shots at her or something. I don't know, it's weird as hell. <laughs> but I was just hyping up my friends that came on the trip with me. Like, just because you didn't come, that don't mean we not friends. Anyway, so she let me to know that that's what the husband said, that we no longer friends because she had tell the husband that I would be the one to add Kermit into the group chat because she don't talk to Kermit. And the husband was like, I don't think that can work because they're no longer friends and she don't talk to her. And I just like, so all this time she'd liking my tweets and stuff. She not my friend. <laughs> like liking my pictures, liking my tweets. She not my friend. Okay. I guess that would explain all the unread or unanswered messages that I have. But my thing is, if you have a problem with me, tell me. You never tell me there was beef. So now that I know there's beef, I could act accordingly, you know that kind of way? But I never knew it was an issue between us. And then I come to find out it was an issue. And then after that, I was just like, I'm petty. I won't lie, I'm a very petty person when I'm ready. So I went on Twitter and I was like, one of the tw tweets had to say something about um, name a time where your friend wasn't really your friend to you or something like that. I keep looking at myself in the viewfinder, guys. Sorry. Um, and I was like, my best friend had her wedding on my birthday and made me her maid of honor. So the day was all about her when it was supposed to be all about me. <laughs> and then people were like, oh no, that's not enough friend to have. Yada, 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 yada. And uh, she had like it right and I see her like it right being petty Brie because petty Brie to come out sometimes she don't come out all the time but she to come out sometimes being petty Brie petty Brie say tweet again and she was like I know she liked this tweet saying um now she see that I seen that she was she tweeting but guess what I never <laughs> Just so I tweet and she liked that one too and I was just like and I guess that would end our friendship Well to me because apparently our friendship had in a long time ago for her when I come to think about it I was sitting down thinking one day and I was like This girl didn't like me from inception not really inception, but like from time she see me being happy This heifer didn't like me no more <laughs> She don't like happy breeze. She had prefer when I was miserable. Because she started acting funny from time me and Rabbit's relationship get off the ground and we was like dead ass serious. I guess she felt that Rabbit would take in her place as my friend because he's literally all who I used to talk to, all I used to talk about. He was literally my wall, you check. And I guess she didn't like that. <laughs> she didn't like sharing me. Um, so yeah, it was weird. But yeah, guys, that's the story on how I find out that my friend, who was supposed to be my friend, didn't like me. Everything was a competition. I got a boyfriend, she had to get a husband. <laughs> Like what? <laughs> anyway guys, if you're interested in hearing any more stories from my stupid self, <laughs> 
subscribe to my channel by hitting that subscription button down below as well as the notification bell right next to it so that you're notified whenever I upload. I'm wishing you guys lots of love and light. Oh, and in the comments, let me know if, any situ if you've ever been in a situation where you find out that somebody who is your friend didn't even like you. <laughs> like I did. So let me know in the comment section below if you have any stories like that. I always look forward to seeing you guys' comments. Thank you guys for rocking with me so far for 2021. I hope it's being very nice to you. Like I said before, I'm wishing you lots of love and light always. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>